Aloha everybody, what's going on? Tito here and this is Aloha Android. So I decided to wait on the J7 perks and I know many of you guys wanted to see an unboxing and also wanted to see a few videos uh, basically going over the J7 perks but I can tell you guys right now there's going to be a killer deal coming up and so I decided to postpone getting that device but I didn't want to leave you guys without a phone review. So uh, here in front of me if you guys may not have noticed or if you guys do notice this is the alcatel pop 4s pretty sweet deal got it at best buy for 159 dollars uh basically with tax it came out to like 173 and as you guys can already see i did unboxing it already but i'm just going to show you guys right now what's inside the box so you guys can see what to expect um and i'm kind of pulling on the wrong tabs here i, re I didn't realize that until like probably halfway through and i was like oh yeah that's right that's uh the outer wall of the box so let me go ahead and just uh get this part opened and you guys can see what's inside as i left everything else inside the box so the first thing you'll see is obviously uh booklets uh basically to get to know your device you also get some earbuds which is really nice let's open these up right now and take a look uh they look pretty good and obviously I'm using one right now to kind of do this voiceover. So uh, let me know how the audio quality is off these uh, microphones from these headphones. But um, so here we go. They look pretty nice, right? I think so. My opinion. So anyways, uh, besides that, you get some nice little ear cushions you can adjust. So depending on the size of your ear canal, you get this wall wart here, which um, I don't know if it's a fast charge or anything like that. Um, but I'll put that to the test and I'll tell you guys how long it takes to charge from like 10% to 100. We'll do all that good stuff later. And then we also get a pretty thick fat size um, charging cable or data sync cable. Uh, I do believe that this is micro USB as I looked on the device and it shows uh, micro USB port. So no USB type C. But uh, yeah, so you guys can see micro USB. But that cable is like actually kind of really uh, thick. So, um, anyways, uh, let me go and put the booklets back in the box. We'll close the box up, and then I will run through the specs really quick for you guys. And then over the next couple of days, I will be doing some comparisons against these two devices you see next to it. So, uh, more to come on that. So, here's the device itself. It's got a nice 5.5-inch display, 1080 by 1920 pixels at 401 pixels per inch. Um, it is LCD. Uh, here at the bottom, you get the pop branding and the speaker. On the top right there, you get a 13 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash with an aperture rating of f2.0. You guys can see, like, at the bottom, well, from the bottom, how nice and uh, curved it is. So it fits comfortably in the hand for a 5.5 incher. Um, as I said, 1920 by, uh, by uh, uh, it's like basically 1080p. Um, you also have the cameras on top speaker and there is a LED flash. The front facing camera is five megapixels on the bottom. You have a physical home button that doubles as a fingerprint reader. Now this is going to be a little bit weird because I'm used to using the fingerprint readers on the back of a device. So kind of like trying to get used to it being in the front. It's got an octa-core processor. It's got a MediaTek Helio P10. It's a 6755, uh, a Mali T80, uh, T860. Uh, GPU, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of onboard storage, uh, does take a 64 gigabyte SD card. It's got a 2960 milliamp hour battery. So uh, that's just pretty much some of the specs for right now. And it is running 6.0 Marshmallow, so it is not running the latest version Nougat. Um, I don't know if the Pop 4S will ever get Nougat, but uh, this is just basically just a quick rundown of the device now you guys can see the camera here this is one thing i didn't notice about the cameras i don't know if you guys saw when i was waving my hand it had this little um kind of like haze effect uh but more to come i'll be doing some camera tests i'll be doing some battery tests i'll be uh comparing video footage i'm going to compare it to the j7 2015 i'm going to compare it to the huawei senza as um these are the battles of the 5.5 inches so um if there's anything else you guys would like to know about the alcatel pop 4s Please leave those questions in the comment section of this video as uh, it will give me some more ideas of what types of videos that I am going to make with this device. And like I said, I will eventually get the J7 perks. 
It's just there's a killer deal coming up, so I'd rather get it at that price than paying $199 currently right now for it. And also on a quick note, those that were worried about the ZTE Max XL, it is back on BoostMobile.com, so just go ahead and check it out. And I think it's $99 right now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Click that bell option to know when I upload. As always, aloha.